Welcome back everybody. So, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Ubiquity Edge Router X. And this is the first product that I've officially gotten from Ubiquity. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. So, you know, let's start off by opening this up. Hmm. I think this is just some kind of a brochure, maybe. The Edge Max. Maybe that's advertising a different one. I'm not completely sure. Anyway, here is the official Edge Router X right here. I like that design. It's pretty small and compact. Really, it just looks like another like mini desktop switch. Except it's not. It's a router. Alright. And here is the power adapter for it. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to take that much power. It has a really small adapter. And that's, that's the whole box right there. So anyway, let's, uh, yeah, I will be back in a second as I hook this up to power. All right, so now let's hook this thing up to power. Here's the power adapter right here. Let's plug into the wall and let's fire this thing up. There's the power light. Let's just watch the entire boot process. Hmm, okay. I guess I'm, I was really just wasting time trying to see the entire boot process because I think that is the entire boot process. Like once you plug it in, yeah, the power light comes on and that's all. <laughs> that's all it does. I guess none of the other lights will come on unless you actually plug stuff in. So yeah, <laughs> that is actually the entire boot process. So anyway, let's actually plug in um, incoming ethernet into it coming from my modem my service provider I thought these had lights on the ports themselves. Okay, I guess they actually don't. I guess the network activity lights are actually these right here. Like, see how that's blinking rapidly now that I have Ethernet Zero plugged in, aka the uh, Ethernet cable coming from the service provider modem. Okay, so. Let's actually take another ethernet cord and plug it into my switch so therefore it's on the same LAN and everything as my PC. Okay, so actually scratch what I just said before. So we actually need to connect the PC to the router on ethernet zero as opposed to having the service provider ethernet cord going into it. So yeah, I have a cord going to Ethernet Zero coming from my network switch over here. And therefore that is going into my PC. And let's see here. So after we connect it to the PC, then we have to do some other things such as setting a static IP on the PC. So in other words, making the PC only use a specific IP address and it's not using automatic or and 
and yeah, it's not just using a random IP. And we need to be able to do that to be able to, be able to access the router's web interface. All right, so now let's go more in depth on what you need to do on your PC to be able to access the web interface of the Edge router. So we need to go down to the Ethernet adapter settings. Yeah, right click it and click open network and internet settings. And then go down here, network and sharing center. Click Ethernet, go to properties. And we need to go to internet protocol version four, IPv4. And you need to have a static IP such as this set on your PC. And what this is doing is telling your PC to only use this specific IP address. And once again, not use like DHCP, which is basically just automatically um, grabbing an IP from your router and just using random IPs. You want it to use a specific IP. So in my case, I did 192.168.1.123 and I'm pretty sure with the edge router, your static IP, I'm pretty sure on all edge routers, the static IP needs to be within this range of IPs. So 192.168.x.x or probably .1.x and X being whatever you choose. Anyway, so you click OK on that. And now, we need to open up a web, um, a web browser. Now, in the search bar of the web browser, you need to type HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash 192.168 dot one dot one and here you are this is the web interface of the edge router okay so now that that we're at the web interface we need to log into the router Oop. we need to use the default credentials so the default username is ubnt and the default password is yet again ubnt and yes, accept the terms of the license agreement. Log in. So now it's going to ask us if we want to start with the basic setup wizard. I'm going to do yes. Okay. So the internet port. Connect Ethernet 0 or Ethernet 4 to your internet connection. For example, internet, the uh, cable modem, DSL modem. So basically, um, we're choosing what port is going to be the one that's for our service provider's connection. So I'm going to use Ethernet 0. <clears throat> okay, so besides the internet port, Ethernet zero for our uh, internet provider incoming uh, Ethernet cable. It's also it's also um, asking us about LANs. Let's see here. So this only use one LAN. That basically means only using one range of IP addresses. But I decided, just me personally, I want to. You know, I want it to be a little more complicated, and I want to use this more for experimentation. So I'm not going to have that enabled. But if you just want one range of IP addresses, then yeah, you you would have that enabled. So the secondary LAN, Ethernet one. This is the range of IP addresses. DHCP is enabled, and again, DHCP is the mechanism that automatically hands out IP addresses. Now LAN ports, Ethernet 2, 3, and 4. Their range is going to be 192.168.2.x. And yes, DHCP server. Now for the user setup, here we can change the default password. So I'm just going to 
create a secure password here real fast and I'm also going to create a new admin user too well actually I decided I'm not really going to show that in the video for security reasons but this is where you would create the new admin user so basically the user that has control of everything the router does administrative um, uh, what's the word permissions so after we make all those changes it's going to prompt us that we need to reboot it's also going to give us all these steps here that we need to do after it reboots so let's go ahead and apply the changes and let's reboot yeah yes I am sure let's reboot man this thing is really persistent isn't it alright the system is in the process of being rebooted okay so the router has rebooted and now we are back on the web interface page and this is what it looks like so far so this is the dashboard showing different routes yeah, it's showing the different statuses of the different ethernet ports it seems like I guess it's also giving us a graph of the usage traffic analysis there's routing yeah I admit I'm still kinda learning this myself let's see firewall slash NAT so if you need to do port forwarding and such different firewall policies NAT NAT groups this is where you do it services uh, not too sure VPNs IPsec site to site QoS which is quality of service users yeah you know that already fig tree <laughs> even I don't know what that is that looks pretty complicated I'll have to do more research on that later and wizards that's where we started so while we're at it let's also just make sure that the router is routing correctly and the internet is working so let's just try various websites so Google yep that loads YouTube yep that seems to be loading too let's see let's do let's go let's go back to Google let's do a speed test Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> I mean, the 56 download looks right, but <laughs> the upload, that looks kind of pathetic. It's supposed to be up to 10. I'm not sure why it's so low. Anyway. Yeah, so, I just bought a new internet for my place. And, yeah, it's it was around uh, 50 download. And it's supposed to be up to 10 upload, but oh well. Alright everybody, so this is what the router looks like now. And we seem to have gotten it working with some basic, um, basic configuration. And just to show you the setup one more time. And it's going into my network switch there. And into my PC. And the LAN that is going from the router to the switch is the first LAN, so that's the 192.168.1.x range. And I'm pretty sure the rest of them, 2 and 3, are the 192.168.2.x range. Anyway, maybe I might get into more advanced configuration later. But anyway, this has been a video of the Ubiquity Edge Router X and getting it working with some basic configuration. 
And thank you all for watching the video, and y'all have a nice day.